Well, I'm here in the wood shop with resident and tal talented craftsman, Bart Sharp. And Bart, we are here in front of these croquet mallets. Yes. How did you get involved in these croquet mallets? Well, uh, Dennis, in, uh, my, in the adjacent uh, workbench here, he has been building a lot of uh, putters, golf putters. And so I was looking at uh, his handles, which he does a beautiful job of laminating all this wood together to make these beautiful handles on them. And I said, you know what, that's interesting. They're putting in this new croquet uh, course, so maybe we should look into building some mallets. And I, the reason I said that was, I thought I was gonna turn them on the lathe. I normally don't work with any flat work. I just work with the lathe and make bowls. And so I said, uh, so I go to the internet and I download this some thing on the internet. It turns out that croquet mallets aren't round anymore. In the professional world, they're a rectangle. So then we started gluing up rectangles, as you can see here. And then the other trick is, is to have an aiming line down the middle. This is for the professional man to play with, see? And then also, instead of a round handle, it says in what we downloaded from the internet that if you have a one and a quarter by one and a half inch handle, it makes it easier to aim oh, and hold yeah. your hands, keep that mallet straight when you make your swing. And so anyway, we've been having a lot of fun. We've learned a lot yeah. uh, about just gluing wood. And, and actually, I learned it from Dennis. Dennis is a pro at this. He's always making trays where he's gluing up these small pieces of wood. And I had really never done that before. So I go to him as my consultant regularly every day. Yeah, and this is, like you said, it's kind of out of your comfort zone because you're used to well, working to on the Well, to start lathe. with, I had to have him teach me how to use the table saw so that I've got all of these left. I, they, <laughs> right. I scared the heck out of a couple people when I first started trying to rip those little pieces of wood. So that was a good thing. Yeah, so the learning lesson. Yes. Yeah, and Dennis is really the mastermind behind well, all of this. Well, he is. He, he makes wood in the craziest angles. If you look at his handles, he has all this diagonal wood running across there, every direction you can think of. Yeah. And that's how he makes his little trays. So he's incorporated that into these handles now. And this one here, here's a second mallet that he's made. And this handle is all ready to be glued onto here now. And here again, this is uh, orange uh, Osage wood in the middle to make that aiming line. Very unique. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's, they're beautiful and yeah, one of a are. kind. They yeah. all look different. Yeah, every one, that's the one thing. Uh, I have some wood here. I didn't even know how to pronounce some of these. It's Coco Coco 8 or something like that. And this is uh, Ipe. And, and they're heavy oak. too. Yeah, and everything's heavy. It turns out that a professional grade mallet weighs between two pounds eight ounces and three pounds four ounces wow and so we've been weighing these on a little digital scale and we're even we're even hitting the weights wow <laughs> <laughs> and so for any of um croquet players watching can they how can they get a hold of one of these beautiful mallets well i'd say they could come by and they could see dennis and myself and uh because we're making up several of them and we don't have uh we can't play with one in each hand. Right. We would like to pass them on to yeah. somebody else. Very nice. Well, thank you for sharing this with us today. You're this welcome. is amazing. And we hope to see you all in the croquet court. <laughs>